Thanks for checking out this video. I do want to let you know this video is sponsored by Jensen USA. And if you purchase anything from the link below, that'll also help out my channel. In addition to Jensen, I'm supported by Ibis Cycles, Trust Performance, Cali Protectives, Kitspo Cycling Apparel, PNW Components, Industry 9, and Shimano. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hi guys, my name is Jeff Kennelweed. I'm a former professional mountain bike racer and I worked within the bike industry for over a decade. Seven years at Ibis Cycles, three years at WTB. But today, I've got something totally different I'm excited to check out. I'm honestly pretty exhausted. We got home late last night from Sedona, Arizona on a family trip. Got to do a whole bunch of fun rides with my daughter, my wife. Use your little handbrake. The whole idea for this bike started back in November when I was filming a Patreon riding tutorial. And sure enough, riding to another spot, I took a crash into a tree, sprained my right thumb, and couldn't really ride regular bikes, couldn't really shift gears in particular for about a month and a half. So I had some downtime and I wanted to put together some kind of a single speed hardtail. No secrets at that Chromeg logo on the side of the bike. I've always wanted to check out the Chromeg bike. Ever since the Dr. Hawk came out a little while back and I saw the Pink Bike article explode with comments from people that don't understand aggressive hardtails, I really wanted to try one. I've never ridden with the dudes from Chromeg up in Whistler where they're located, but I've heard they are really good riders. And I met one of the owners, Ian Ritz, at Eurobike way back in the day, and he was a super nice guy. So. I just, I wanted to check those bikes out. Those guys are known for building a lot of trails and for having epic group rides, and I know they've shred. Everyone says they're really good riders. Just cutting away. There we go. I'm excited. This is a non-Ibis, and it's brand new, so the second non-Ibis new bike this channel's seen this year. Yes! New bike day is always a good day. What? Head tube out. This thing's rad. Ha! Look at this. I wouldn't say it's light, but it's not heavy either. Look at all that clearance. That thing's tiny. It only has room for one water bottle. The Chromeg Stylus is a 27.5 aggressive trail all around mountain bike. I'm five foot eight or 174 centimeters, so I got a size medium. The bike uses pretty modern new school geometry, so there's a 64 head angle, a 76 seat tube angle, and short 419 mil chainstays. The last hardtail I featured on this channel was a loner bike from Ibis. I only had it in my possession for like a week before I had to send it back to him. I haven't owned a really aggressive hardtail ever, and I've wanted to try one for a while. And I've wanted to try a Chromeg for a while. I actually bought this bike. This is not a loaner bike, not a demo bike. No one gave this to me. The guys at Chromeg were cool enough to give me a good price on it, so I didn't pay full retail, but I get to keep this thing, and I was so excited to try it, I did buy it. Chromeg was cool enough to hook me up with a pair of pedals and a saddle, so I didn't pay for those items. I have always thought these saddles looked really good, and they ranked really well in a bunch of surveys with this wide nose up front. I'm pumped to give this thing a try. Oh, geez. The Daga, Chris Carver Kovarik, oh my gosh. Those, ah, those aren't so big. Okay, I thought they were gonna be crazy. They're pretty aggressive, but they're not as insane aggressive as I thought they were gonna be. Cool. Okay, let's put this thing together and then hit the trails. That's straight enough. Dude. Hey guys, I've got a couple rides on the Chromeg thus far. All I really did was change some minor setup stuff, slid the saddle back as far as I could, raise the handlebars up. I need to make a pretty big setup change. I'm hoping on this ride I can show you what I'm talking about. And the bars are still really low. Oh gosh, this thing jumps real easy. Over clear. <laughs> It's a little windy to keep shredding the jumps. That was fun. Hardtails jump so much easier than full squish. If anyone wonders why ride a hardtail, I feel like one of the top reasons 
jumping. So this right here is a fun little climbing connector trail on the mountain. Let's see if I can make it up the whole thing on the single speed. Well, made it up the connector trail. This thing doesn't climb half bad. Just that dang saddle's in such the wrong spot. Okay, probably the hardest part of the trail. Hey, that's kind of cool. Big shout out to those 2.6 tires. Good traction on the roots. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about with the seat being right in my way on climbs. So this bike has a very steep Z tube angle, which normally is awesome. However, in this case, it keeps catching me in the behind where I need to stand up and muscle up climbs. Makes it kind of tough to really get after it pedaling. I wanted to ride single speed, but I think my old Mojo tie with its slack 73 seat angle would be a better fit for the single speed setup. Oh. As I mentioned earlier, hardtails are awesome on jumps. This trail is almost entirely jumps. It's a little windy, so I might not hit all the big ones, but we'll see how this thing does on jumpy trail. This is the same trail I rode the Ibis DV9 down almost a year and a half, two years ago. It's not fair to compare the Chrome Egg to the Ibis. The Chrome Egg's more of a all mountain free ride bike. The Ibis is more of a cross country race bike, trail bike. Totally different. Let's drop in. Nice. That was supposed to be like that. Let's go. I've been really enjoying the Chrome Egg, but the single speed setup needs to go over to a different bike. The way the steep seat tube angle works out, the saddle just keeps catching me in the behind on steep climbs when I've got to stand up and start wrenching on it. Also, around here the trails are steep enough up and down that a low enough gear ratio to go up is way too low for the descent. Hopefully on my sketchy old 26 inch wheeled hardtail, that's not an issue because I can't go that fast on the downhills. It almost feels like a little bit of a disservice to how rad this bike is to set it up single speed for riding around here. So let's make it a little bit more dialed in for Northwest riding, steep ups, steep downs. Let's put some gears on here. Big thanks to a longtime sponsor of mine, Shimano, for supplying some XT kits for the year. So I'm gonna put an XT 12 speed drive train on this. Fifth Mountain, riding with Logan. Made sure he has his hardtail instead of his full squish. Thanks to that fender, camera doesn't get mud on it. Another day, another Galbraith ride. Logan is riding his red Cannondale hardtail. That's all we know about it.
Originally, I was intending this to be kind of a one-time video about this bike, but honestly, I've had too much fun riding this thing, so I'm gonna break it up into kind of a build vlog, kind of like we did with the Mojo 3. This video is sponsored by Jensen USA, and they are a terrific Chrome Egg dealer. If you're curious about the Chrome Egg hardtails, or any aggressive hardtails for that matter, I have a link below over to Jensen. You can check out the stylus there. I've had a lot of fun on this thing. It's definitely a super aggressive, capable, all-around hardtail. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments, how would you set up a Chrome Egg stylus like this? All right, guys, with that said, I'll join you in the next episode with the stylus bike build blog. Thanks for watching.